Oh, look, somebody built a crazy sand castle. Look at that thing. We're gonna take a look inside this here fake space shuttle. It's supposed to be very realistic on the inside, though. Yeah, that is the payload. Or what do they call them? The payload base? Pretty crazy. Here we go, another bathroom. Pretty cramped. Oh, an airlock. Pretty fun. Like a chair inside there. This is a pretty big section of it. Like a door up there and stuff. A much better view of the payload bay from the second floor. Oh, and the flight deck. We'll admit, I thought that the inside of the space shuttle would be a lot bigger. Yep. It's not. What the heck, man? They wouldn't let us bring our cameras on this ride, so we're saying the heck with it. No, we're not going on it. We're here for entertainment, not for putting our stuff in lockers and paying a quarter. There's a close up of the sand castle. It's not really a castle, I'd call it a sand sculpture, maybe. Yeah, stop it. Getting ya? Oh, there we go. Which way are we turning it? We're gonna turn it this way. There we go. No, oh, which way? Which way? End over end? What's happening? Well, let's see how fast we can get it going, side to side, in a circle. Oh, we got it going pretty good. Oh, yeah. We got it going. Look at this little kid moved it on his own. Moving that giant ball around is a workout. You get the astronauts out here. That'll get them really into shape for their space flight. This is the ice cream of the future. Manned and unmanned. Kennedy Space Center, Merritt Island. We send up space shuttles and astronauts. Cape Canaveral Air Force Station on Cape Canaveral. Unmanned launch vehicles only. That guy had the strangest speech pattern I've ever seen him or heard in my life. That's a T-38. That's what they train the, the astronauts use these to train to, uh, to like, actually, it's the closest thing to flying the actual orbiter and landing it. So that's what they use to train it. T stands for training. T stands for training. And look at what number it is. All right, more dirty vlogs. Check this out. Every single one of these rockets are retired rockets. Like, these rockets have actually been up into space. Yeah, that's what he said on the bus. <laughs> oh. Oh. That guy on the bus lied to me. Look at how tight it was inside there. This is a recreation, I think. All this stuff looks awfully real. I think it was. I think it's Apollo 13. I don't know. It's so crazy. It's so tight in there. 10 4. We're laying inside the capsule as we speak. Here we are, go for ignition in T minus 1761. I gotta flip some switches here. Turn some. Oh, you got stuff on the side too. Look at this. All this stuff doesn't look. You got a fuel cell indicator. I'd like to be on number three, please. And because uh, we're running low on 29% fuel. This doesn't look good. It looks like we got a 1202 alarm showing 1202. up. 1202. Not good. Not good. Computer is overloaded. Our gimbal's completely locked up, so we're, we're floating off into space. Oh, good. We're in gimbal lock. <laughs> we're in gimbal lock. Oh, no. These gauges are not working correctly. No, no. We're screwed. I always wondered that. Why is it that whenever a gauge isn't working, the uh, guy always taps on it like, Hey! Hey! Because hey, buddy! Like, they're usually like fluid filled, so like, it's happening it to free up from the surface. A little bubble in there. Hey! hey. These uh, CO2 tanks, they're uh, locked up. <laughs> Space, the final frontier. Oh, yes. A rocket, eh? It's very interesting. Lots and lots of. Oh, what's this? Here in Florida, we put splash pads on top of splash pads. Smells like chlorine. Do you guys think we can make it through there without getting wet when it goes down? We're gonna try. I'm gonna take my shoes off and do it though. Oh, it's still going. <laughs> I made it! Just in time, too. Hey, here we go. Six foot some, 200 some odd pound. I'm as low as this thing is. Trying to get into this itty bitty spacecraft. 
Oh, there's, there should be a handle up high. It really wasn't that bad. Ow! No, my head doesn't... This does... I do not fit in here. How did it come here? Look at this. How did anybody fit inside this thing? My feet are here. My head is against the other side. It's... I can't even reach these things. Yeah, I think you gotta be shorter to get into that. This one's not working either. It actually was fairly simple to get inside of, but it's just like you just don't fit in there. You need to like crush my foot. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep it out. Yeah. Is your head supposed to like Can go down reach? further? I think the chair's supposed to be higher up or something. Can you like put your head in oh, no, first? See, I think your feet are supposed to be up here. No, it doesn't want... I don't know. They like built I, it wrong. I think. Yeah, I like how they made Dr. Scott here look like an old man. He's like, hey, I'm all bent over. We're gonna drive this little lunar over here. Oh, these, everything's broken here. Why didn't anything work? Is this made out of wood? This is an actual Gemini capsule. This is like this one flew in 1966. That's awesome. There's the actual mission control room for the Mercury missions. Oh, we're on the moon! It's a great altitude. It's so crazy. I gotta, I gotta put my sunglasses on because the future's so bright. Because this is the 60s, right? 1966. Oh, oh no, the Earth. 1969. 70. It's gotta be the 70s. Let me shift here. Oh no, we lost Adam. Oh. Good times. Good times. We forgot to sing our song, which was I was driving on the moon one day in the very merry month of June. Somebody stole this uh, Titan II. It was a missile. I'd probably use it for a. Uh... At space camp, I'm so tired that it's bounding. I'm leaving the ground. It's like an imitation Gatorland. You guys see that little, little tiny dot on there? You might have to turn on your HD. It's the space station flying over. This is a better view. You guys like how all that stuff tied together with the space station and all the other stuff? I'll see you guys tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price. We have two international shout outs today. Look at this. Pine Pinery. Him and uh, all of his, or they, I should say, because I don't know, are, and all of their friends are watching in their study period <laughs> from Southampton. Southampton, England. Right here, this red one. And Kayleen14 is watching from Glasgow. Right there, that's the green pin. The second pin in Scotland.